Previously on Fringe. You are looking through a window into another world. An alternate universe, just like ours. And in each of them, there is a version of us. Showtime. We can't let Peter die again. Walter, Peter is dead. I'm talking about the other Peter, the one on the other side. It's not too late, I can't save him. I only need to affect the area for long enough to cross over to the other side with the vial of the cure. And, and then, of course, recreate the effect to cross back again. Walter, you're trying to create a wormhole into another universe? Yes. I think I just said that. For the sake of one life, you will destroy the world. At the frozen lake where I created a portal between universes was unsound. And when we crossed back, the ice broke. And Peter, the other version of him, drowned. I lost him all over again. Walter over here is the Secretary of Defense. The French team answers to him. And this is your team? The team's Francis and Donovan. These invaders from another universe can't be trusted. You gotta trust me. I'm you. They're heading back to the Opera House. Make the switch. Please let me out of here. Please let me. I work for the FBI in French Division, dealing with weird and mysterious events that threaten the safety of the United States and its residents. Olivia, what is happening to you? Your mind has created this fantasy. This is not a fantasy. <laughs> Kidnapped Olivia to the other side. They did? For weeks. That awful woman pranced around my lab. Awful woman? Uh, the other Olivia, the one from over there. She bought my ignorance with baked goods. Well, she carried out her plan to steal pieces of the machine with the damn Portuguese sweetbread. You mean the machine that created the bridge? Yes! You shattered my universe. You have any idea how many deaths you've caused? That was an accident. What you have tried to do, you've done on purpose. Whatever you've both done, we're here now. So maybe it's time we start to fix it. This isn't gonna work, this truce, because you're not trustworthy. And simple things like principles, honor, honesty, all fundamental requirements in an accord. If you can't trust the people you're dealing with, what then? You know, maybe I'm not the problem. Maybe it's you. Maybe you are just incapable of trust. Interesting. Coming from the person who kidnapped me and stole my life. <laughs> you know, being you, living your life, only made me more homesick for my universe. It must be hard to develop trust in people when all you've got is yourself. It must get terribly lonely. Just because you walked in my shoes, don't you think for a moment that you know me? Yeah. Keep telling yourself that. Happy reading. I'm sure you'll find a lot of the cases familiar since you and your people were responsible. Huh, funny. I was just gonna say the same thing to you. I received your message. Then you know we have a problem. It is impossible. The timeline has been rewritten. He was erased. And yet, traces of him continue to bleed through. Walter. Who are you? Can you hear me? I'm right here. Walter, I'm right here. Not here. Here, Walter. To have seen a strange man in the lab, a man no one else has seen, and that sometimes the man speaks to you. Uh, just minor hallucinations 
That was weeks ago. I'm, I'm, I'm much better now. So you haven't had any more of these hallucinations since? No, because... Walter, <coughs> listen to me. <laughs> Walter, do you see me? Only by I can hear you. comparison will I be Where able to determine if there are patterns to the decomposition of listen, tissue. Listen. Listen. Or the, or the putrefaction of the internal organs. It may, may well be that the, the, the victims perish in different right end of the bishop. And that one of them may be a carrier. I want to come home. I'm not losing my mind. I can't go back there. Please don't send me back. What are you talking about? I'm going insane. I've been having hallucinations. No matter what I do, it they won't stop. What kind of hallucinations, Walter? For weeks now, I was afraid to tell anyone. What are you seeing? A person. A young man. Does he look like this? Where did you get this? I drew it from memory. I, I've been seeing him in my dreams for the past three weeks. And all this time, <laughs> I thought I was losing my mind, that he was a, a figment of my psychosis. <laughs> I'm perfectly sane. Yeah. Who is he? I don't know. Shared vision like this. It must be real. And if he's real, we have to find him. <laughs>